Okay, now I'm going to talk about how to apply to evangelism and raise up people's spiritual life. Like uh, just now there was a lady I prayed for her and there was another one I prayed for earlier. Someone said to me that they experienced some work of the Holy Spirit of healing. Okay, kama vile ameambia upendo wengine ambao wamekuja kwa kwake kwa kusema anahisi nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. And I want to say that everyone can have healing. Nataka kusema kila mtu anaweza kuwa na ile hisia. The more you pray for people, unapoombea watu, the more people will experience the, the peace or love or joy of the Lord. Watu wengi watahisi wa, wa amani, upendo na what we can do is to visit the people around us. Now, before we do that, in the church, it's the most important the pastors lead the people to train them to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We can lay it on them and then encourage them to keep loving God, to keep the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Like some of you, I pray for you, and then for a period of time after that, you still feel the peace upon you. So that's the presence of God upon you. And the more you hunger for God, the more the presence will come. Now, you can see the key of the Lord. Even if you are a man, you will be able to do it. And then in the church, you practice praying for each other. Now, in the church, we are going to do the same thing for each other. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to the church or people who have needs in the church. First, we are going to pray for the newcomers to and, and gather them together and to love God together and train them to, to keep the power of the Holy Spirit train them to pray for each other and then pray for people who have needs and pray for newcomers to the church I've done it many many times and I also have spent much time praying I also have not spent much time okay. praying. And I've learned to open my spirit. The more we pray, the more we can have the presence of God whenever we pray. And then when a group of people have been trained to pray for people and they have a strong anointing of the Holy Spirit and take care of the problems in the life like sins and negative thinking, negative feelings and people spirit. First, we pray for the people coming to the church. Then we go out to pray for people out on the street or our neighbors. When we, but first we talk with them and listen to them. And see if they have any needs. And then we say, uh, we have experienced the work of the Holy Spirit. Would you like me to pray for you? If they are willing, we tell them to love God from their hearts. 
na ikiwa watakuwa na wanakubaliana wewe utawaambia mpende Mungu kwa moyo wako wote that they want God to bless them ikiwa wanataka Mungu awabariki and then we lay hand on them na tutawekelea mikono and after the prayer we ask them na baada ya maombi tutawauliza have you experienced anything during the prayer je umehisi nini katika maombi tulipokuwa tukikuomba if they experience peace ikiwa wamehisi amani then we use the bible verses i told you earlier na tutatumia biblia ile aliyoelezea mapema that's john 14:27 utasoma Yohana 14:27 and then also the birds go away na pia ile ile usito ama ile shida zinaenda Matthew 11:28 Matayo 11:28 and Jesus will take away your burdens ya kwamba Yesu atachukua shida zako zote they feel comfort over the body na watasikia uhuru na amani katika mili zao that's some Uh, 16 verses 16 uh, 8 and 9 na ile itakuwa saburi 16 16 17 18 19 They, they experience joy and also the body rest secure watahisi amani na pia furaha na mwili ukiwa huru so we we'll say god has blessed you like this na tunamwambia mungu atawabariki hivyo would you like god to bless your whole life forever je ungelipenda mungu awabariki maisha yako milele utele utele if they will if they will lead them to christ We need them to pray to confess the sins. Ikiwa watakubali una umwelekeza katika ombi la toba and and trust in Jesus as their savior. Ili waamini Yesu Kristo ni bwana na maisha ya maisha yao. So they have eternal life. Ili wawe na uzima maisha ama uzima tele tele. And also we will tell them. Na pia tutawaambia God has blessed you today. Mungu atakubariki leo. In the future you can bless other people. Eh baadaye ama katika maisha utabariki wengine. Would you be willing to be used by God? Je, ungeipenda Mungu akutumie kwa njia ya ajabu? For anyone who respond well, we will remember that and this person we can train to serve God. Yeyote ambaye atakubaliana na haya masumuzo tumuelekeze yani tumuelekeze na tupatie masoezi ili apate kumtumikia Mungu. So when we pray for people not it's not only good for evangelism I call this experience God evangelism. Okay. Hii hey, haikui tu ni kufanya uingilishi lakini kule kuwa na ujuzi na ushuhuda katika uingilishi. But it's also good for raising up people to serve God. Lakini vizuri ku kuinua wapendwa ama kuwaweka katika mazoezi hao wapendwa ili wapate kutumikia Mungu. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate this can two persons come out and demonstrate. Kwa hivyo wewe wetu wakuja hapa wanataka tunataka kuonyesha vile unapotoka ile kuingilisha ili apate kuonyesha vile utakuwa unaombea watu. Kuja haraka. Ndugu dada Ujeni tu, ujeni. So if I'm going out, reaching out, talking to them. Ikiwa anafika nje sasa anafanya uingilisi anawafikia. And then I will talk with them and listen to them. Na nitaongelesha na pia kuwasikiza. They might say they have some problems they're facing. Pengine wanaweza kusema wana shida fulani katika maisha. And then I will share with them what I've experienced, how I experienced the Holy Spirit to bless me. Na ni atawaelezea vile ameishi maisha ambapo Roho Mtakatifu amembariki. Or someone else has similar problem and experience the Holy Spirit. Na pengine mwingine ana shida kama inayofanana na ile ya Roho Mtakatifu. Would you like me to lay hand on you now? Ungelipenda nikuwekelee mikono ni maswali na wauliza. Okay? If you're willing, then I'll say, open your heart to God. Ah, kama watakubali atawaambia fungueni mioyo yenu kwa Mungu. Is you really like God? Na umpende Mungu. And you want God want God to bless you and help you. Na unataka Mungu akubariki. Okay? So you close your eyes. Mnafunga macho yenu. Open your heart to God. Na mnafungua macho yenu kwa Mungu. And then in the prayer, na katika maombi, I don't say long wordy prayers. Sisemi ombi ndefu maneno mengi. I just pray to lead them to a closer relationship with God. Nitaombea tu kuwa na ushirikiano na Mungu. Jesus is with us now. Yes, you can stand on prayer together. Sisemi tunaomba pamoja.
Let's pray together. Tuombe pamoja. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. We need you Jesus. Na kuhitaji wewe Yesu. We love you Jesus. Tunakupenda Yesu. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. nyama zetu. But you say you can say. Lakini Mungu mnarudia. We welcome you Jesus. Tunakualika Yesu. Come bless my life. Kujabariki maisha yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Asante Yesu. We need you. Tunakuita Yesu. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. We worship you. Tunakuabudu. In Jesus' name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Now after we pray we say please keep your eyes closed. Baada ya kuomba tunawaambia endelee kufunga macho. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Tume hisi chochote katika hayo maombi. So you can ask me have you experienced anything during the prayer? Nauliza mmejisikia chochote wakati alipokuwa kiombe? Uh, I live in Peter because of who, the people who are standing in the corner. Na akawa anasikia yani uchungu sana kwa wale watu ambao walikuwa wamesimama kando yake. Okay. Then I was at peace. Baadaye akawa na amani. That's what I think. You believe you are living this key. Okay, can you summarize what you said? I couldn't understand it so much. He says that the time you are praying was a Have you seen these people in white before? Yes, how are you on it? Okay, he says, 
He has never seen them, but he has seen different people before, not white people. Okay, so this is the gift of vision that he saw two persons in white. Okay, and then what else did you experience? Oh, the second, second verse, I was Peter in my spirit, I felt Peter. Then eventually I was the new. So what did he say? He says, he says, he says, he says that he when says, he saw the two persons in a white garment, he felt bitter, he was bitter. But over the people, but later on he was released. Yes. Did you feel bitter on earth some for some uh, towards some people? Okay. Now, so God has done this to you. So do you want Jesus to bless your whole life? Okay. How about you? Do you experience something during the prayer? Speak louder, speak louder. He says, he says he felt power in his eye. He says he felt power in his eye. He says he felt power in his eye. The chest was, it was so warm, it was cold. He felt his light. Okay. So this is God working in your hearts. To give you this experience, that the Bible says that the young man will see visions. So you're still a young man. And then you feel power. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit come and then you receive power. So you see God is so real. You want Jesus to bless your whole life? Yes. And the way to receive his blessing is that we confess our sins to Jesus and ask him to forgive us. Because Jesus has died for our sins. He is the Son of God to come to earth. So when we trust in Jesus, He forgive our sins and give us eternal life and bless our whole life. So your whole life will be blessed. So are you willing to be blessed by God? If you are willing, can you pray with me now? Now every one of you pray after him. Okay. Everyone pray. Do you have any father? Everyone say. Thank you that we experience you during the prayer. Asante tunakuhisi katika maombi. Asante tunakuhisi katika maombi. The God is very real. Na kwamba Mungu wewe ni Mungu kweli. You came to bless us. Umekuja Mungu kutubariki. Umekuja Mungu kutubariki. You are a real God. Wewe ni Mungu kweli. Wewe ni Mungu kweli. You want to bless our whole life. Nataka kubariki maisha yetu yote. We know that Jesus is the Son of God. Who died for our sins. To give us eternal life. I confess my sins to you. I have hurt people's feelings. I've hurt people's feelings. 
Nime, ni, ni, nimefanya watu nikawakasirisha. We have told lies. Yeah, tunapenda uongo. We have been greedy. Tumekuwa wachoyo. We have not worshipped God with all our hearts. Atujakuwa tukimwabudu Mungu kwa mioyo yetu yote. Please forgive our sins. Tafadhali tusamehe dhambi zetu. Wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Tuoshe na damu yako ya zamani. And give us eternal life. Au tupatie maisha ya milele. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I want to follow Jesus. Nataka kumfuata Yesu. I want to love Jesus. Nataka kumpenda Yesu. I want to go to church. Nataka kuenda kanisani. To worship God. Kumwabudu Mungu. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Kanisa liseme amen. You sincerely pray to ask God to forgive you. Kama mnamnamu mkaomba. Kama mnamnamu mkaomba. If you have Jesus has forgiven you. Kama mnamnamu mpokea Yesu wa mewasame. And God will bless you. Mungu wa tawabariki. And so this is how we can do evangelism. You can go And also I can tell them, you can be used by God in the future. Just like how you experience God now, you can pray for someone in the future that they can experience God too. Okay, now please go back. Now. I'm going to have an exercise, a short exercise. For some of you, you know that you don't have evil spirit. Now, if you have a, you, you have evil spirit, you come out. But if you don't have evil spirit, pair up in two. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to have an exercise, a short exercise. For some of you, you know that you don't have evil spirit. Now, you have Kusema unaromba ya ukija hapa, utawana hii? Na hii. Nakiu kelewa ya mwama ujejazo na romu takatifu, nikuja hapa mbele. Na wale ambao ujejazo na romu takatifu. And then if you don't have evil spirit, then you lay hand on a person next to you, you know, one to one, man to man, woman to woman. Ikiwa we ujejazo na romu takatifu, utawekelewa mwana ume mwenzako mkono, na mama utawekelewa mwana mwenzake. And then you love God and lay, you know, when you lay hand, you love God. Na unapumwekele mikono, unafungua moyo wako, maro yako, unampenda mungu. And after the prayer, you say, Baale ya maumbi utasemu. Please keep your eyes closed. Tafadhali, funga machi yako. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Je, utamuliza, umehisi nini wakati wa maumbi. So we just do this and then we'll finish. Okay, so those who have evil spirit, you come out. Those who don't, then you stay in twos. Okay, and then you lay hands on them. Now, the Bible says that if you lay hands on one of them, you can cast out one demon. Okay, and then you lay hands on them. Now, the Bible says that if you lay hands on one of them, you can cast out one demon. And after the prayer, you say, "Please keep your eyes closed." Now, the Bible says that if you lay hands on one of them, because they open the eyes, they will be distracted. And then you ask them what they have experienced. Okay, now you, you do it. Everyone stand up. Those who don't have evil spirit, then you pray for each other. 